each and every stage of our Twin Flame journey. It was uh, unbelievable everything that happened and we are still astonished every, each and every time we think about it. It's been crazy the journey but uh, hopefully you can stick with us to the rest of the video because it's, uh, it's amazing. It started as nothing, became everything. We went through a lot of pain, a lot of love, many experiences, absolutely amazing. So each stage of our Twin Flame journey was magnificent. For example, first of all, this video is for everyone who is seeking the, the true Twin Flame union, true Twin Flame journeys, and each and every stage, okay? because we all know their stages of Twin Flame in the Twin Flame journey. And like this, you will also be acquainted what happens and stuff like this. So I have noticed over the years that our relationship was getting uh, much stronger. And now I realize that we had stages, okay? It was just uh, uh, a label, okay, stages, but of course, you can also uh, tell by this. For example, the first time before I met Patty, uh, I was just by myself. I was by myself the whole time and it was, you know, it was tough. Because you don't know who, uh, like wh who to trust, who to speak. And every single thing you do in this life just doesn't make sense. And... Uh, you're not, uh, you're not valuable. I mean, at least you're not looked as valuable. And whoever uh, sees value in you is just for a materialistic approach. They do not seek um, anything more than this. And that's the problem. So all this time that I was by myself, I was always imagining myself with my half, which is petty. Uh, I didn't know Petya, but I knew I was going to meet someone. I just knew. <clears throat> and it's interesting. Very interesting and amazing. There's just no words. It's almost like she saved me and I saved her. It's just amazing. Second, we awakened our Kundalini at the same time. What do I mean by this is that, first of all, if you don't know what the Kundalini is, uh, or if you have little knowledge you heard but you don't know specifically what it is and stuff we have a playlist for the kundalini and higher self in the description below we have series so we awakening our kundalini at the same time meaning that not only uh, i awakened the, uh, the kundalini but petia as well and how do we know this is that when we met online <coughs> we actually met in the kundalini awakening group so <laughs> this was just uh, the the biggest like coincidence i don't say coincidence i say providence because it just has to happen and that's it and it will happen coincidence it's like um something happens at the same time with another person but you just don't know the reason and stuff but providence is like it has to happen no matter what okay and coincidence, it's almost like for the people who don't believe in these things. But providence is like, it just has to happen. So after we met online, in our Kunalina Facebook group, I mean, it's not ours, it was, it's from someone else. And uh, we talked to each other and that's how we found out that we awakened at the same time. I mean, very close to the same time. <clears throat> then we met physically. Later on, we, meet, we met physically but not ready to be together because of our family. Um, it, it's, it's normal, you know, the, the family, if you don't fix this with your family, it's uh, a very big issue. It's one of the stages. Uh, we are explaining our journey. Now, in your journey, will be different. It ha doesn't have to be the same, but it will be similar. So we had issues uh, from my family, mostly, unfortunately. And uh, so we had to uh, 
uh, like separate, but we were not against each other. We just, we, she came to see me, okay? She came to see me, Petia, in my, uh, in the place where I, I was. I was with my family and we couldn't make it. So she went back. And, but there's something that we achieved during this time is that we became a team. So we met each other and then we became a team. <clears throat> uh, meaning we got together better, our connection. Afterwards, we got together properly, physically, finally, and we merged. And as we merged, our Kundalini started merging as well. And what this brought, it brought uh, that uh, we are not alone anymore. You will, you will understand what's going to happen. Because when you merge with someone, in this case, your, your twin flame, <laughs> you uh, become so connected with yourself that you are no longer yourself. Not that you're not yourself. You are your, more yourself than ever. It's just that you are not alone. Okay, you're not in, you, no matter, everything you do from, from now on, every single thing you do from now on will be on you. But also on her. So it, it's a, a, thi a two things connected. You guys are uh, together, that's it. You cannot avoid anymore. You cannot wander around alone. That's what I mean. So later on, uh, our Kundalini got entirely fused into one because before the Kundalini started merging and, and so we are not alone, okay? Every single thing we do, it's together. So if I do something, I will affect uh, Petya somehow. But our Kundalini started to fuse into one and I already explained in the video properly in details what happened when I felt this and it was amazing. It actually happened in a, a, a stressful time, but it brought us a lot of awareness and, and uh, experience and love. And I'm going to leave in the description below the Kundalini series and also the video about um, that my Kundalini and Petty's Kundalini merged into one. Okay. So later on, things started to get crazy. As our Kundalini became one, it fused into one, our problems and solutions, guess what, became one. So my inner problems and my inner solutions became Petya's problems and Petya's solutions and vice versa. This means that uh, I hold the solutions to fix Petya and Petya holds the solutions to fix me, but I also hold problems that only Petya can fix it. I can also fix it, but but you can see where they are coming from and things like this. Later on, lots of trials and errors and reclaiming myself and reclaiming herself started to appear. For example, I am myself and Patty is herself, but we, can, we, can, we are only our true selves when we are together in this, meaning we are already one, we are fused, into one, our Kundalini's are one, but we, st we still want to uh, believe that we are, we are on our own. If we have stress, we start thinking, why did I get together with this person or whatever? We are trying to be individual, okay? We start to get into the individuality and this is not uh, the best. We need to remember that we are, our true selves are when we are together and when we uh, accept being together. So next, after this, we start to accept being one finally, and it took uh, years, of course, we were still, our egos starting to, you know, they were uh, super hyped and uh, trying to um, get their own territory to cl reclaim their place, but, I mean, claim their place, but then our uh, togetherness, uh, the acceptance of being one brought us uh, a new reward we, our egos calm down a little bit and uh, it's, we start to get more, more balanced and more balanced. And now uh, our own thoughts are telepathically connected. So basically we start to get 
much more connected into our thoughts. You might think, but uh, I have telepathy with my little sister or with my friend, this is nothing. But look, when you are, uh, you have some common things between you and your twin flame as well. It's not just you are opposite forever. There's a video about this. I'm going to try to put in the description below. If I forget, remember me. But you should always uh, celebrate with yourself and your twin flame that whenever you have something in common meaning your thoughts are telepathically connected you should celebrate because you guys are opposite you are yin she's yan like entirely opposite you have entirely different tastes but your if your thoughts are connecting to one it's an amazing thing because it's not that everything every single thing you you think will be the same thing as she thinks it just means that if you want the message to go through, it will go through when it is important, when the intuition uh, is there for you, okay? To help you go through all this. Another thing is we got back in our emotional bodies, in our emotional blockages. We were already working on them from the beginning, but uh, we didn't know exactly how to work on it. And now we realized in this stage that we were cleaning the family, we were cleansing it. Uh, because you, when you're born, you have, you have uh, some blockages with you, your family, your parents and stuff. So it makes you stronger if you release these blockages, these emotion, emotional blockages. Because uh, these emotional blockages were there to protect you from things that you were feeling within yourself, right? But now you are fixing yourself, you're going on another stage and you don't need this anymore and you need to feel lighter, okay? Their burden is uh, uh, making you feel very heavy on the shoulders, you need to remove it. It takes time, uh, there's a lot of um, disunion, uh, separation and stuff that will happen when you start cleansing your family, but you will, it will be worth it, I promise you, it's going to be amazing, you're going to feel much better and uh, your connection with your, you and your true film is going to become super strong. Super strong. It's amazing. Heads up for the video that I'm going to make about how our relationships getting stronger and stronger. Tenth. The tenth stage. of uh, This is not the numbers of stages. I'm just, I just wrote whatever I felt. Maybe we had 20 stages. Maybe we had five. Maybe we had three. Doesn't matter. What matters is the stages itself. So the tenth stage, we... Uh, my big our my biggest virtues my virtue went on petty and her virtues went on me this is the one of the most amazing things we went through so far because imagine every single thing i have like uh, let's say the benefits of who i am and also the things i i am capable of doing only me i can do petty can help by being the opposite, but for, for instance, when we are helping someone, okay, from the channel, because we have people who come to us, um, I have my own speciality, I have my own abilities, but Petya, if she comes and helps, uh, she has her own abilities, and when we merge both, it makes it stronger, okay? But there's one thing, there's a catch. We started to have much more than this now it's different now it's much different much more different she can go on her own to fix someone or heal someone or okay heal between quotes uh talk to someone with my own abilities without her studying me without her doing anything it's just it's naturally it comes like this and i can do stuff that only her only she does as well it's amazing. We exchanged virtues. I don't know how to explain this even better than what I already did. It's just absolutely amazing. We are learning. Uh, we continue to learn more and more. And uh, we are just astonished, man. It's just incredible. It's incredible. To exchange virtues with each other. It's like, Jesus. You only do that usually when you're kids. And... Uh, uh, you do that with your brother or you with your sister you you exchange roles but here we are really exchanging roles properly 
but I can still be myself and do her own abilities, not like the runner and chaser and stuff like this. This happened and it's in the between of the stages we went to. I didn't even bother it saying because it's the most, one of the most common things we went through. Yeah, we went through a lot of pain. We run and whatever, but we didn't truly separate it properly because we don't believe in this. This is what true twin flames do and that's it. You cannot separate from your twin flame forever and it's impossible, okay? But just for you to know and uh, that's it.